coming through so bad you lot of care Santa Cruz Gotta get in and mix it up with the boys And welcome to this special encore presentation of the Hawaiian Islands Vintage Surf Auction from the Blaisdell Center in Honolulu. Aloha, David Stanfield here with Paul Holmes. How would you describe this scene here today? Well, this has been absolutely incredible. Um, there's a lineup of surfboards that are going to be uh, under the hammer coming up very shortly. Some historic wood surfboards that date back to the 1920s and 1930s, all the way up to some modern equipment that is like state-of-the-art, written by some champions more recently than uh, that ancient history. Like it's, uh, Everything in here, though, is 25 years old at least. It's vintage, and it's an absolutely fabulous collection of surfboards that Randy Rarick has put together for this auction this year. Like the antique roadshow on television earlier today, there were vintage surfboard appraisals taking place, and my colleague Paul Holmes was there for a very historical surfboard that was brought in. We're here at the Hawaiian Vintage Surfboard Auction and an amazing board has just walked in here to be appraised. It's owned by this gentleman here, Mr. David Darling. David, how did you come by the surfboard? I had one almost identical to it. It was a pintail, shaped by Dick, probably from 1966. And one evening at Haleiwa, it was getting bigger, like three, you know, five to seven, seven to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 18 in the matter of two hours. My board went out in the rip, so I decided not to chase it, it was closed out. Came home in tears, Dick was living next door, and he said, you can stop crying, I've got a blank in the garage, we'll make you one overnight. So overnight he shaped me this, and then I took it to Wolfman who lived two doors down to, sh to glass it, and in three days I had a better board. And standing next to me is Dick Brewer, the guy who shaped the surf, but now this has been a really famous surfboard, it's been in all kinds of pictures. In fact, you're holding one of the pictures in which the surfboard is featured right here, right? That's true. And, and David took the picture. He's a, he's a photographer, world famous photographer, surf photographer. And, and in case anybody doesn't know, this picture has been published over and over and over again. It's one of the most famous, iconic photographs in the entire world of surfing, isn't it, David? Well, thank you. I, I didn't realize that, but yeah. <laughs> So now we're going to hear, Tim over here is going to appraise this board and try to put a value on it at this really exciting event for this board walking in here. Tim, over to you. I'm excited. I've got chicken skin with this board just coming in and, and I'm absolutely honored to stand here with these gentlemen right now, but this particular board is so historically significant in the surfing world that it's amazing that it's still here in this shape today. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit browned out, but you know what? It's got. It's got so much history, and he's got all the provenance. This gentleman took this photo right off the bat. I mean, this board is worth easily $5,000. It went into the auction venue, and who knows? The sky's the limit. You get a couple different people in the room that want it. It's going to go up and up, just in the condition that it is, and because we have Mr. Brewer here and the original photographer and how significant this is in the surfing world. It's just a, it's an amazing find, and I thank you so much for bringing it in and, and sharing it with us and, and sharing your aloha. My name is Surfer Joe. I am your auctioneer tonight. You'll find me in the World Wide Web also, but I'm not live. It's Surfer Joe with theauctioneer.com. 25 years auctioneering, liquidations, real estate, and charity benefits. Four years ago, two auctions ago, the world record was established with a single board sold for $33,000. And last year, how much did the record fetch? How much? How many dollars? Who said $39,000? You're absolutely 100% correct, sir. Sorry, I don't have a prize for you. Anyway, let's get it on. We've got a bit of a program, and then we're going to get right underway. And we, he does that. He hates surprises. Randy, please come to the stage. Sure. <laughs> he really hates surprises. Just in case, just in case, this is the last auction. And if it isn't, then you're not allowed to crack the bottle and you've got to hold on to it. 
And next time you'll wear a dry lay. <laughs> But I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for coming, and I think everybody here knows to some degree what Randy does and what an incredible person he is. And for every item that is out here that has a story in the auction, in the silent auction, and for every person that's sitting here in the audience, we all have a story. And it's only storytellers that keep stories alive that gives it value. And I think what you created here with the auction, Randy, is actually priceless. <laughs> And so I just wanted to thank you on behalf of everybody for amazing work and uh, for telling the story so that we can all appreciate the value behind these boards and give them their true value when we buy them tonight and be able to tell the stories every time somebody comes into our homes and says, wow, cool board. So thank you. Watch the Barrett Jackson auto auction on TV, right? You know what I'm talking about. You know what ringmasters, you know what bid callers, you know what bid assistants are going to be doing. Helping you make sure you get the item you want at the price you want at the right moment, the right way. We have right here JK, your head ringmaster. We've got Carlton here, Simba there, and my man, Marvelous Marlin. Give a nice round of applause from the number one wholesale dealer car auction in the world, the Mannheim Aloha Auto Auction and taking bids on the World Wide Web. He's back again with a sidekick, terrific Tom. Give it up for Sebastian of SBR Consulting. Okay, live bids on the phone, live bidders in the room, that's you, and on the World Wide Web. I'd like to acknowledge the guy who designed this board, Mr. Dick Brewer here in the corner. Dick, give a wave. That, back in 1967, the Pipeliner was considered the best board of the air as far as, as we're moving into the shoreboard air. This is a Pipeliner gun. The laminate on this board, I've actually had it in my collection since 1967 when I used to work with Dick. And Matt Calvani, who replicated this board to Brewer Specification, couldn't believe that I actually had an original laminate for this. I can show him the fin on this board. The fin on this board was from a fin panel that's been sitting around since 1968. This is a fin panel that's like almost older than I am. <laughs> Nobody's that old. So Matt Calvani shaped this, Bing side. As you can see, you get a Bing shirt, a Bing team jacket, a Bing, one of the Bing books. Bing, unfortunately, couldn't be here. Like I said, he's on a tour of Europe for his thing. So all the money for this goes to Surf Aid International. So when you bid for this, realize it's going for a good cause, but you're getting a great board. Dick Brewer's design, shaped by Master Shaver, Matt Calvani, signed off by Bing, and uh, there's no reserve on this board. If you're not that bitter right behind Marlin, you're out. Somebody bid to the 35, last call. Fred Fong, 35, 35, 35. Fred, take a last look, because they're going to take it from you. Here we go, for one of 500 bucks, a steal of the night. This is the first Randy Rarick declared steal of the night. Can anybody prevent this theft? Do they have a license to steal? Any net bidders at 3,500? Going to the bank on the right, last call. 3,500. Got the green at 35, but I want to fourth the auction. Just yeah. 35, now four, now 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45. Do it, do it, do it. Did you want to bid again? Five, but I want 55, 55. So it goes. 55, I don't want six. 55, I don't want six. 55, I don't want six. Less than no, gotta go. He's out, you're in, give it up. Sold at $5,500. Tell us about that board. Well, that, uh, that surfboard came with a Bing team jacket and a copy of the book that I wrote, uh, Bing Surfboards, 50 Years of Craftsmanship and Innovation. Wonderful, Mr. <laughs> Paul Holmes. Here we go. Let's go to Randy Rarick as we continue on. The Brewer Set. The auction over the years, we've been lucky enough to get three of these. This is the Buzzy Trent model Dick Brewer Surfboards Hawaii replica. Now, what makes this unique is Buzzy, before he passed away, he signed 10 laminates. And, and the Brewer, Jack Reeves combination, we're able to convince Buzzy, we're gonna make some replicas of your boards from back in the 60s. And before Buzzy passed away, he signed only 10 of these laminates. This is number five of five built so far. Glass by Jack Reeves, signed by Buzzy Trent. It's got the exact same stringer configuration as the Buzzy Trent model. We've done really well with these in the past, and I was really, really glad to be able to get one more of them because I didn't think I was going to get any. This is a brand new Buzzy Trent model, Surfboards Hawaii, shaped by Dick Brewer. Joe, away we go. I 
hit by reserve, ladies and gentlemen. Any increment over 10,000 is going to win it. We are going to the bank your way, sir. Thanks for the bids. Anybody else? He's got 10,000 bids, says you don't have 11. Nets out, Rome's out, you're in. Somebody else, give a nice round of applause. It's hammer time. Smile, sir, you're a winner. Sold $10,000, the deal of the night. Wow. What a way to kick things off. So much more to come. Up next, we hear from the guru of shaping, the legend, Mr. Dick Brewer.